It's his speech tomorrow, but it appears to have leaked that he's going to be scaling back uh, HS2 from going from Birmingham to Manchester, which is quite a brave political choice, to, uh, to put it mildly, given that he's hosting the party conference here in Manchester. So PM's been out and about this morning on the broadcasters, dodging questions, and he really can't see how he's going to get through another 48 hours without saying something on the only topic of conversation he seems to be asked about at the moment. It's clear that the costs of this program have escalated far beyond what anyone thought at the beginning. I, I know there's lots of specul speculation on it, but all I'd say is I'll approach this in the same way I approach everything in this job. I will take the time to look at it properly, get across the detail, and then decide what's right for the country. And the sums involved, as you've heard, are enormous. Mm. And it's right that Prime Minister takes proper care over it. It's ultimately not my money, it's taxpayers' money, and we should make the right decisions on these things. The choice, very stark. Either, as the rumours say, go on, cancel Houston, cancel to Manchester, but you will be turning your back on an opportunity to level up a once-in-a-generation opportunity. We should be told, come on, end this shambles. You can't take decisions of this magnitude in the way that you're, in the way that you're doing. We at least deserve a hearing. If you scrap HS2, you are scrapping the possibility of a new east-west line across the north of England anytime soon. We will not accept sort of vague commitments about improving east-west links. We really won't because people here have waited far too long for a functional railway and we are not going to sell our own residents uh, down the river and make them wait even, even longer.